everybody how's it going today we're starting pharmacy simulator you guys know i love simulator games we played grocery store simulator for a little while but this one is hitting a little closer to home if you guys don't know i'm currently in pharmacy school i'm in my last year and i'm getting my doctorate of pharmacy this spring and i've worked in a lot of pharmacies really since the age of 18. so combined my career with a genre of game that i love and man i got excited now, before you guys say anything, I realize that this is likely a crappy asset flip. And I know, but I love asset flips, actually. I think there's something endearing about them, and I hope this one's good, and I'm very excited. The active ingredients in the medications featured in the game are substances used in the real world. world. However, the medications, formulations, and product names presented in this game are entirely created by us and our product of our imagination. Okay. So it does not constitute real world medical advice. So that's the thing of why I'm kind of excited about this game is I'm very excited to see what, what I can apply from real life. Like, is there actual medications? And I just think like, <laughs> I hope I can get a really unique perspective on this considering this is my job. This is my career, you know? All right, let's go ahead and run it. New game. Are you sure you want to create? Yes, let's go ahead and do that. I can store decorations, medicines, products in the warehouse. Okay. Woo, okay. <laughs> so a couple of things are going to have to be fixed off rip. Let's go ahead and turn on that sensitivity to very low here. All right. Oh, okay. That's better. All right. So like most simulator games, we're on the ocean or whatever this is. We got a big city behind us. We got a few other stores. Okay. Where, wait, where's the, the warehouse is over there? I wonder, are we going to be able to buy those in the future? So that's how I open and close. Okay, and this is my first little box. So interact with the sun using E to change the store's name. Ooh. Okay. So my last name. Ooh. Should I dox myself? Ooh. I don't know if I should dox myself. I have a last name that goes really great with the word pharmacy, but for the sake of not doxing myself, let's just go with uh, the big P. How about that, right? That's funny. The big P. Okay, save it. Quit. Yeah, all right. So our, our pharmacy name is the big P. All right, go to the computer. So I'm assuming this is going to be like every other game where we'll have a, a computer. We could buy shelves, cosmetic store. Derma Cosmetics, Personal Hygiene, Medical. Okay. No, let's go ahead and get out. Recruitment. Okay, I'm assuming we get higher techs. Bank. Get loans. Debt is bad. Okay. Pharmacy shelves. Okay, 150. E-exam. I have to get licensed? Okay, hold up. This this might this might cook. And then Alte Farm. All right, so here's okay. Let's take a look at these drugs. Do let me see if these have any similarity to. Okay, so I see that. Okay, so I kind of see what they're saying now, where the active ingredients are real, but the drugs aren't. So like paracetamol, phenylephrine, that that's like a real life thing. That's not fake. Acetylcysteine, acyclovir. Yeah, like cetrazine like all of this is real actually just the names aren't melatonin wait 500 milligram of what that one doesn't i must i'm assuming they couldn't i don't know yeah again copyright's a little weird with this right okay and hey maybe i can give some fun facts or tidbits about some of these drugs maybe oh wait not oh that's nine prescript white green prescription red what in the world is a white green and red in real life, there's, you know, controls and non-controlled over the counter. And then in the control, there's like C1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, with C1 having high, like basically no medical use with extreme risk of abuse. C2 being extremely high risk of abuse, but with medical purpose. And then 3, 4, and 5 are basically just like grades of potential abuse. With 5 being the least. And then anything that's not addictive is a non-controlled substance. See, what is this the exam portal? 
Okay, this is all so interesting. Okay, we actually got to start playing the game here, right? All right, so what are we... What is this? E? Oh, no way. I'll have to actually do the scripts? Oh my god, I'm going to have PTSD from this. All right, we'll see how accurate it truly is. Okay, first, let's buy some shelves, okay? So I think two shelves is... Hello? Why is it... I want to buy it. Oh. Holy crap, this game is kind of broken, but I love it. Let's pay 300. Okay, so when it says my order has arrived, where... Oh, that's like just in front of my door. Okay. Place material... Okay, now how do I... Oh, R. Okay. Now let's add... Right here. Let's grab this one. Yeah, okay. We'll just put them right next to... You. Oh, it, oh, it's the snap building. Okay, that's really good. A lot of other games don't have that, and it's actually kind of annoying. All right, we should probably buy some products, right? So right now, it looks like we're limited to OTC things, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so let's let's buy. I also wish I can I like I want to zoom in on the box so I could see. Okay, so I think we should start with this paracetamol, which is an antipyretic. Like it says here, it's essentially Tylenol. Hey everybody, it's editing David. I'm gonna be doing this throughout the videos when I want to add a little bit more information that I think is interesting. Uh, paracetamol is actually the same thing as acetaminophen both branded as Tylenol, which is the brand name. Paracetamol is mostly used in Europe, Australia, India, New Zealand, uh, while the acetaminophen is used in the United States, Canada, and a couple of other countries. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So this stuff is good. I'll buy some. Although I just prefer Tylenol, we could go ahead and buy some of that, add that to our cart. What is it? Acyclovir. Although it's categorized as a non-prescription in the game, acyclovir is actually prescription only. Uh, the tablets, the creams, everything, you have to see a doctor to get it. The only thing that you can get over the counter for viral things like cold sores is something like Abriva. But that has the active ingredient of docosanol, not acyclovir. We could, so we could buy one of that, treat some viral some cetrazine that's an antihistamine so that's for your allergies all right fun fact about antihistamines they are actually grouped by generation first generations being older ones third and second generations being slightly newer ones but the reason why this is important the first generation tend to cause more drowsiness while the second and third generations cause less drowsiness as a pharmacist that is the big thing you want to counsel every patient on when giving them uh antihistamine is that drowsiness component you know you want to avoid driving or any <laughs> basically dangerous activities here so yeah first generation they can be used for you know allergic reactions things like hives but that is because they're essentially stronger. They can uh, cross the, the blood-brain barrier. They're going to be causing a lot more drowsiness. Meanwhile, the second and third generations can be used for things like seasonal allergies and maybe older patients because they are less sedating. They cause less drowsiness. So if we take a look at the game, what we're selling here is Cetrazine, which is a second generation, meaning it has less potential to cause drowsiness than something like a diphenhydramine. Now, can it still happen? Yes. But will it be less severe? Yes. And then we go to the third generation, go to Fexofenadine. Uh, once again, third generation, a lot less likely to cause that drowsiness. Uh, how much money we got? Okay, let's just buy two boxes of those. Oral spray. See, I don't know what this is. I This is not a real thing. And I'm having, a tr I'm having trouble reading what that says right there. A lot of these boxes are kind of small. You can buy some melatonin. I, I don't know what that is, but we'll buy some of that. I can't, I'm having a hard time reading a lot of these boxes. Ga I'm, I'm assuming this is something like a gas X. Let's go ahead and buy that. Fungal. So I'm assuming that's a azole. So it's like an antifungal. Okay. Oh, is it, wait, is that ibuprofen? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that says ibuprofen. Let's go ahead and get that. Allergy. Oh, is that diphenhydramine? Okay, so that's also for allergies. 
Okay, we can buy that. Okay, let's see. How much is it too expensive? Only 570. Okay, let's go ahead and pay. Get some of this good stuff. Alright. I see the stacking is better compared to other games. In other games, they just like fall over. Okay, so how do I do this? Place medic medic throw it in the trash. Okay, so I actually have to walk up here, right? And Okay, hold on. Take the bros store box with the E key, press the B key, then place the sh Oh. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. I have to hold the button down, not just click and then put that in there. Okay, hold on. Wait, so is it E? Okay, no, I have to actually like Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, okay, so I have to put it like on that exact part of the shelf. Maybe I can get like a better look at this closer. It's getting all of it is so small. Okay, so let's just kind of let's stock a few of our shelves here. Is, it, is this the cetrazine? The antihistamine it can be used for a lot of things. So it can be used obviously for allergies, which is the most common use, but it can also be used for things like itching. Although, if you're if it's things like itching, you'd rather use like a uh, like a diphenhydramine. Uh, if you really wanted to get you'd rather use like a like an antihistamine cream but sometimes you do take an oral antihistamine for itching but at that point it's probably just better just to well again it all depends on what it is too but i often just recommend just hydrocortisone at that point which is a steroid which can also help with itching okay let's see let's go ahead and fill these shelves So it looks like two boxes fill one part of the shelf. I really underestimated. I should get another shelf here. Is this the same thing? Okay, good. Go ahead and fill that, fill that shelf. I think this is empty, right? Yeah. Okay, and I can put the other one right here. Maybe I'll buy another shelf here. Oh, I can't actually. I can't even afford another shelf. Okay, how sad. Let's go ahead and open the pharmacy then. With E, okay, I'm I'm clicking E. Or oh, is it not gonna let me until I finish the tutorial? Okay, hold on. Wait, but I'm doing the thing. Take. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just buy another shelf. Okay, and let's try to do it the exact way that it tells me. Okay, so press E. B. Okay, so apparently it didn't like it that I didn't do it the exact way that it wanted to. Okay, so now that this is... The game isn't mad at me for doing it the way that it didn't like it. So now we can take... So take that. Let's open up the box. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. The game, the game is now happy and satisfied that we did it in the correct manner. Activate the cash register with E. Okay, now that's a prescription portal cash register. Okay. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, over here. Okay, so open that. Let's press the button E to talk to... Oh, do I have to, like, run up on them? Okay, no, they're going to come to me. I can't... Okay, nope, I don't want to redo that. Okay, so I still can't open and close just yet. All right, do you want to buy something or do you have a prescription? Oh my God, that is so loud. Warehouse rack, prize money, and we got decor. Is that yogurt? I don't know what that is. It looks like yogurt. Okay, uh, hello. Uh, how, can, how do I click? How can I help you? One, oh my God, acilopin, one gas. Oh, I don't, dude, I don't have the alkanil inhaler. Oh, did I just mess up? Wait, I don't I don't think I have all that. Although, I don't have an inhaler. Hold on, hold on. Put these in my cart again. Just like in real pharmacies, we usually put everything alphabetical. Uh, in some pharmacies, they organize them also 
uh, by type of medication. So um, anything respiratory inhalers can be in a section. Um, creams can be in a section. Obviously, there's refrigerated items. Um, but that's some pharmacies. And then also, there's a lot of like technical rules with controlled substances about having them either dispersed throughout your stock or having them in a safe. 99% uh, of pharmacies nowadays just keep them in a safe, not dispersed throughout their stock because it gets a little difficult. But uh, So we got some spotlights. Okay. So I'm going to need more shelves. And luckily we took out a loan. So we, I mean, shoot, we can afford them. Although I didn't really want to take out the loan. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy like four more shelves. Okay. And then we'll have a little bit of money in case the game wants me to do something else. Alright, let's put maybe... Okay, so this can be the difficult part where I'm going to really kind of need to know where everything is at now. And I should do these alphabetical. But it's going to be a lot harder. I wish they actually used real drugs. I know they couldn't have because of trademarks and all that good stuff. Uh, but it would have been so much easier because I would have known all the drugs and I could have like almost put them in a fashion that I'm used to already. So here's what we're going to do just for now. I'm not going to put them in any particular order just for a minute. Just because we just kind of started out and all that good stuff. But honestly, probably after today's video, I'll go back through and reorganize everything. To make it all alphabetical. The, the annoying part is we're going to unlock, I'm assuming, a lot of new drugs and new things. And it's going to be a little hard to basically, I'll have to reorganize my shelves every time I get something new. Which, that's going to get real frustrating very quickly having to redo my shelves every single time I unlock new, new things. But I'm sure that's something that I'll have to be a big boy about and get over. Because, like, in the real world, yeah, you get, like, new medications every every year, but um, not a whole lot. <laughs> you know, most new medications, when they first come to market, um, they're usually, like, non-formulary, meaning they're not always in stock. They're usually ordered by specialty, and they're usually expensive, and those medications take quite a few years to either go generic and... So, like, in the real life, we don't just, like, get new drugs. You know what I mean? Um, so this is going to be a little weird. What's my other question? I have to give the customer what they want, but I told the customer to essentially go away. Am I going to get another customer? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to continue without, another, without a customer. Okay, although the shelves are full... Well, the other boxes are on the ground, and my current problem is I don't have a customer, so I'm going to assume that I have to do the classic <laughs> restart the game. Yeah, this game is clearly not polished in the slightest, but you know what? That, that could add a bit of charm to it, so I don't mind. Alright, here we go. Let's go and continue. Now, will you give me another customer? Dude, do I straight up have to go back in my recording and see what the customer... Dude, straight up, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to restart my game. Like, I'm just going to quickly do everything again up until this part. And you know what? I'm going to take that time to just organize these medications too. Hey, everybody. We're kind of back to where we were. Also, something very interesting. You can actually put things back in the box, too, which I didn't know. And that is going to be an extremely useful feature. Now, I bought most of the drugs and put them in alphabetical order. Now, the problem is I couldn't buy all of them. So I think there's one somewhere in the middle and then there's two at the end that I don't have. And I'm hoping the customer just like doesn't come in for that one because I'm not going to have it. Here we go. OK, so back to the unlocking the yogurt. All right, so this time the customer is going to come in, and this time we're not going to tell him that we don't have what he wants, which is kind of true. Well, at least I, I hope he orders the same thing, because I made sure to have at least the things that he asked for last time. So fingers crossed. All right, here we go. Okay, no, not cash register. I think we got to just, like, talk to him. Right, how can I help you out? Sure. 
So now I have to find the product, right? Oh my god. Okay, no, I was like, do I not have it? Okay, of course I do. Okay, so this is uh paracetamol. Okay, so like Tylenol essentially. All right, let's talk about over-the-counter pain medication, specifically how much you should be taking and why taking too much is bad. Let's start with the acimidophen or in the game paracetamol, both marketed as Tylenol. The reason you don't want to take too much is it can cause liver damage. It is one of the most common overdoses, one of the most common toxicities because people think it's over-the-counter, therefore I can take a lot. So let's talk about how much can you take. The absolute max for a human is around four grams or 4,000 milligrams. Although I would recommend stay 3,200 max. That way you can avoid any form of liver damage. But again, 3,200, or if you want to get crazy with it, you can go up to 4,000 and it's important to split it up every four to six hours. So 650 to 1,000 every four to six hours. Don't take more than that in that time period and over the entire day do not take more than 4,000 or you are risking liver damage. Moving down to aspirin, I'm not going to even bother talking about this medication. Why? Because it's bad. As far as for pain, I don't like it. It's a not a good drug for pain. I know maybe a lot of older folks still love it and use it. Um, as a student, as you know, a future pharmacist, I don't recommend it because it can cause bleeding. It has blood thinning effects. Really, it should be used for clot prevention in certain scenarios. Other than that, I don't think it's very good. I would rather use Tylenol or the next drug, ibuprofen, which is different. This one is an NSAID. Something like naproxen is also an NSAID. It's a different category of pain. Uh, NSAIDs are good for things like inflammation, while Tylenol um, is better for just general pain. So ibuprofen max dose is technically 3200 prescription, but they do say as far as over the counter, 1200, but you can take up to 3,200 milligrams. Once again, two to 400 every six hours is kind of what's recommended. Don't take too much. It can cause you trouble. Just because it's over the counter doesn't mean it's completely safe. There you go. Put that in the bag. Customer missing if you have at least... What if they have a, but this may affect XP gain and the popularity. Okay, so I just, I have to just try to be as close as possible. Okay, so now I have to collect the payment. So price 13. Okay, so. Oh, 13, okay. So is there no cash in this game? It's all credit card? So we got some spotlights. Okay, we're rolling. Open the store up and buy paint. Okay, so let's go to the store. And then what is it? The decorations? Okay, wall paint and floor tile. Do I have to? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Red? Okay, so I just have to buy... Oh, I get to pick? Okay, we're going to go with... I know most pharmacies love white. That's their thing. Let's just make everything white and fluorescent and so shiny that it hurts your eyes but i think we're gonna go with navy blue and then tile what kind of tile here let's go dude these are all disgusting no what type most pharmacies have well they try to have as many carpets because like feet hurt bro so they have like little either carpet not like carpet it's kind of like carpet or like little soft foam carpets around the pharmacy because like they make a stand for eight hours a day which is atrocious and that's a whole different story but yeah like we don't we don't usually stand on tile that would be like borderline like abuse but for the sake of just getting something let's go with this tile 10 i think that looks kind of sick okay so i'm assuming okay hold on what paint There's, there's nothing here. Okay, so tab. Okay. I paint the brush. 
I don't know where the paint is. Oh, it's like over here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I see what we're I see how we're doing this. Alright, alright, we're rolling here. Okay, take okay, so wait, hold on. Oh, do I have to apply paint like every time? Okay, so let's go ahead and put no. How do I Can I Can I put this away please? Or is it do I do I have to finish? Okay, hold on, let's finish these walls at least. I don't know how to put this away. Okay, you know what? Let's just finish painting. We we might as well just finish painting while we're at it. Looks like I'm out of paint. I didn't even finish the store. Alright, well, it looks like half of our walls are going to be dookie colored, essentially. There's no paint. Okay. How? Oh, okay. I just clicked tab. Okay. Go back to hands here. Okay, and let's throw this in the trash can. All right, and I'm kind of dumb. Let's go ahead and take this inside. This will make this a lot easier. Okay, so now I got to go back to tab, go to the tool. Okay, then I just go. All right, all right, we're rolling, we're rolling. We're going to make this place. Oh, what just happened? I don't know how I just transferred the floor to somewhere I wasn't looking, but... Okay, this is like... <laughs> Oh, this is kind of acting up. It's kind of scaring me here. Like, why is it moving with my mouse? See, Okay, that turned out fine. I wonder how many tiles are in here. I'm likely going to have to buy, like, a second set. Yeah, see, that was, that was the last tile. Okay, well, I guess we can put it in this spot right here since that's where the medication's at. I think. Okay. So now let's go back to our hands. Throw this away like a good little pharmacist. Okay, exit the shop, go to the... Okay, so now I can open... Okay, so now, while holding the hammer, approach the wall. D demolish the wall for 100. Only walls... Hold on, well, first... Oh. Okay, so I need to purchase the other stores to demolish... Okay. So, like, I can't demolish these yet, but apparently I can d demolish this. Oh, and it co cost me a hundred to do so. Height, weight, scale? What am I doing, like, actual testing here? My I, I a doctor's office? Like, what, why am I taking... Oh. Oh, each of those is costing me a hundo. All right, yeah, let's not do that. I'm gonna, I gotta save my money for other things. Okay, let's put my hammer away so I don't scare off the patients. Okay, they're gonna start rolling in here, dude. I'm gonna have to get some techs up in there here to, you know, hello, one Al Taylor. Okay, everything is alphabetical here. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna need to hire some people to take care of this for me. I'm a pharmacist, man. I I shouldn't be doing the dispensing. 14. There you go. Have a good day. Beep. Try to get out of my face. Just kidding. I love you. How can I help you? So oh, I don't have that. I straight up don't have that. Wait. Yeah, I don't have that. Okay. Uh, Hold on, sir. Uh, The order is coming in today. In just a few seconds yeah that's what i need so let's go ahead and buy that buy that and then i got rid of a few things i got rid of that there was something else for like 95 oh and i got rid of got rid of that i'm pretty sure okay insufficient balance no way okay we'll just get rid of that all right there we go the drugs have arrived thank you wait what is this? Oh, okay, hold on. This is something else. All right, that's not going to be alphabetical order, but look, I'm in a time crunch here, okay? I've got three people in line. I don't know why I put that there. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is the thing that I need. All right, just hold on, sir. 
The order just came in. Uh. Okay. Pick up, please. Oh my god. If I saw my pharmacist doing this live, I'd be so scared. Only 10 bucks? Dang, you're cheap. There you go. Take. Beep. Thanks for your money. Later. Alright. Uh. Ooh. Big order, big order. Lone Dexa. Do I even have a Lone Dexa? So, one Arcs Clutch. Okay, dude. This guy, I don't know. These medications are new to me, bro. What do they want? Lo oh, they okay, they wanted a Lone Dexa. Can I pick up, like, more than one thing at a time? Hello? Do, oh, do I have to be behind the counter? They wanted that. Mm, they wanted one of these. So, wait, can I pick up multiple things? Okay, no. So, I, do I straight, straight up have to do this one by one? What was the other thing? Oh, they wanted two? And then the arcs. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is the worst pharmacy I've ever seen in my life, but it's okay. We'll improve it. We just need to get some more cash flow. I just know, bro, if, like... And if I got audited by the NABP or any other institution... They would instantly shut down my pharmacy. Like, bro, where's my paperwork? Alright, what is that, 54? Alright, tell your friends, bro. Best pharmacy in A. Oh my god, these guys are coming too quick. Hello. Clot, inhaler... What, you... Two? Sure, okay, so inhaler and two of the clots. Alright, you want one of these. I really wish I could put it in the bag. From the other i'll have to move the table or maybe i'll have to move these medications right behind me i think that would probably be a smarter idea maybe i'll do that right after her okay i'll need i'll need to restock seems like everyone's having fungal infections what is wrong with all of you what do you mean can't give more than the customer wants she asked for it what hello dude oh what huh Oh, that must be a glitch in the game. She asked for one thing twice, but only actually wants one of it? Okay. 